Hello guys, in this video I'll be talking about Saskatchewan Immigration Nominee Program or SINB. I'll be discussing the new expression of interest process, complete introduction to it, the details, recent changes, cost and time, its ranking system and also the step by step process. All of it coming to you in a short while. Hello guys, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got many videos and many more are coming soon for you. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, now before we discuss the EOI system, let me tell you the categories of SINP. So there are basically four categories. The first one is the international skilled worker category for skilled workers abroad who want to work and live in Saskatchewan. The second is the Saskatchewan experience category for experience for foreign uh, nationals who are currently living and working in the province. The third is the entrepreneur category for entrepreneurs who plan to start a business in the province. And the last one is the farm category for experienced farmers who plan to buy and operate a farm in Saskatchewan. Of course, in this video, we'll be talking about only talking about the international skilled worker category because the EOI system is applicable only for this category. Now, the international skilled worker category is further divided into three subcategories. The first one is the occupation in demand subcategory. The second is the Saskatchewan Express Entry subcategory. The third one is the employment offer subcategory for international skilled worker with an employment offer from Saskatchewan. Now most of the uh, most of my viewers will be interested in the first uh, two subcategories. Also the EOI system was made only for the first two subcategories. So I'll be discussing only the occupation in demand and the Saskatchewan Express entry subcategories in this video. Okay, uh, now start let's start with the eligibility criteria first of all. So for the if you talk about the express entry profile it is, is required for the first subcategory which is the Saskatchewan express entry as the name suggests however for the occupation in demand it is not required so you need not make a ex express entry pool if you want to apply for the occupation in demand subcategory the minimum language score is CLB 7 for the uh, first one and the CLB 4 for occupation in demand so it's a massive uh, difference so anyone who has weak english or you know uh, french com uh, skills so you can go for the occupation in demand subcategory however there are other uh, terms to it we'll discuss the minimum education is same degree diploma or certificate minimum one year long also the uh, minimum sinp points is, are the same Actually, all the rest of the categories, uh, sorry, the the eligibility criteria are the same. The minimum SINP points are 60 out of 100 for both of them. The experience in SINP in-demand occupation is required for both of them. So don't get confused that the, as the name suggests, occupation in-demand, only uh, the experience is required only in that subcategory. It's required for in both of the subcategories. That too. It should be in NOC 0, A or B codes only. The minimum job experience should be one year in past 10 years in a particular skilled profession. Also the ECA, like the Educational Credential Assessment, the POF, which is the Proof of Funds, Police Clearance Certificate, Medical Test, all of these things are required for both of them. Also the Proof of Professional Status or Licensure is required for both of them and that is for specific occupation so i'll provide the link to the occupations in demand you can just check uh, the occupations for which the proof of uh, the professional status are required the other difference is that the authority for the express entry is government of canada however for the occupation in demand subcategory it is the government of saskatchewan the provincial government the processing time is lesser for the express entry subcategory okay now let's talk about the new system expression of interest for SINP 
Mind it, it is not an application to the SINP, don't get confused. It is a pre-application process which allows candidates to fulfill an online form to indicate their interest in applying the SINP and demonstrate their qualifications. Candidates with attributes aligned to the needs of Saskatchewan labor market and immigration objectives are selected from the International Skilled Worker EOI system. These attributes include connections to the province, so if you have a relative that's an added advantage, work experience and a language proficiency. Those selected from the system are in issued an ITA. Okay, let's now discuss how this, this process actually works. So first of all, you have to submit the EOI profile. The EOI profile gets into the pool. Don't get confused it with the express entry pool. That's a different pool. This one is different. Then your application gets selected and you get an ITA. After that, you get 60 days time to submit the application and your assessment is done. So basically you can submit the EOI profile by filing the online form. The link is given in the description box. You can have only one EUI profile which will be valid for one year from the date of submission just like the express entry pool and the profile. Your profile will be ranked based on the points scored in the SINP system that we will be discussing later on. ITA will be issued through regular draws. After you get ITA you will get have 60 days to submit a complete online application to the SINP and provide the documents that support the information you provided in the in your EOI. Now you'll be required to pay a non-refundable 300 Canadian dollars of application processing fee. So this was the overall process how it actually works. So you don't have to pay the fee just for submitting an EOI. You have to pay the fee only after you get the ITA. So there's no money risk involved here. Okay, now let's discuss the ranking system, how candidates are actually ranked. The SINP expression of interest selection process will use a sequence that begins by identifying those with the highest point scores. So it's not a lottery system, just like the express entry pool, it's merit based system. To select among those with equal scores, they haven't said that the tiebreaker rule will be used just like the uh, express entry pool. However, they have said that the candidates with connections to Saskatchewan will be chosen first. So if you have a relative or a close, you know, family relative living in Saskatchewan, you will be given the priority. Also, if you have a work experience or any past student experience, you will be given the priority for that as well. The next selection criteria will prioritize those with the highest number of years of work experience and highest language scores. So let's say there are two people having a SINP score of 70 each and one is having a five years of work experience, the other one is having the eight years of experience. So the priority will be given to the eight years of experience guy. So let me explain to you the the ranking system, the point system in detail. So now we are here in the official website of SINP from the government of Saskatchewan and this is the point assessment grid here. So it will explain you the breakup of points in the 100 point structure. So a minimum score of 60 points out of 100 is needed to apply. So the more the points uh, you have, the more chances you have of getting the ITA. So for the education training, for the master's degree you have 23 points, for the bachelor's degree you have 20 points and so on. For the skilled work experience for five years or above you have 10 points, for four years you have eight points and so on. So uh, this was for the in, in the uh, five-year period prior to the application of submission date. So here if you're apl applying the uh, if you're applying for the SINP on 2000, in 2018 it would be from 2013 to 2018. And this would be from 2008 to 2013. So you'll be given the points accordingly. Okay, this is about the language ability, your IELTS or your CELPIP or TEF uh, tests. So if you have CLB 8 or higher, you'll get the maximum points for it. So you see, 
from it starts from CLB4 so eligibility criteria is CLB4 okay now again uh, moving on to the age uh, you'll get the maximum points if you are from 22 to 23 to 34 years of age so uh, you can also you know go through all of this uh, these uh, point system over here Again, important point, the if you have a close relative in Saskatchewan or if you have past work experience or a past student, you'll get 20 each, 5 and 5 points for that. So 20 points is a big, big bonus, but I'm sure that not many people would have a relative in a Saskatchewan. So this point might be irrelevant for many people. So this was the point uh, grid. I'll provide the link in the description box. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries or doubts, please comment in the comment section below. I would also love to hear the feedback from you. Please like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you.